I've had a few people ask me how to make these overlaid videos with Harry's Lap Timer using um, an external video file, um, such as from a GoPro or can be any other type of video camera or action camera, um, and you don't actually need to use the multicam feature in Harry's Lap Timer to do this either. So um, in this case, I'm using a GoPro which is attached to my helmet. Um, which is recording at the same time as Harry's lap timer is. Um, so what you need to do is make sure that Harry's lap timer is still recording a video as well. Um, so and then the overlay data such as the track map um, and if you do have OBD2 um, a device connected so where it shows um, the throttle position and RPM and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, all that data is then stored um, into Harry's lap timer when you record a video at the same time. So you need to make sure that if you go into uh, timer where you're about to when you're about to start your lap, um, go into video and make sure that you've at least selected this option here. So the video will use the um, be recorded from the internal camera of your phone or whatever device you're using. So you click done. Okay, so then once you've driven your laps, um, recorded your videos, um, what you need to then do is copy the video file from your GoPro or whatever it is onto your phone. Um, so what I actually do is I normally just do one lap at a time. So I've actually trimmed my video file from my GoPro down to the exact lap that I want to use. So I want to then copy that onto my phone. Um, and what you need to do is if you go into your lap list, um, select the lap that you want to make the video from. So in this case, I'm going to use this one here. So you select that. Uh, go down to the video preview. So this video preview that you can see down here is what's been recorded from my phone. But you click on that and you then click on this little video camera symbol up the top. And take note of this um, message here and the file path which is given. Um, that's where you need to copy the video file from your GoPro into that file path um, on your phone. Um, and then once you've done that in this list of videos here, you should scroll down the bottom and you should see um, your GoPro video file. So this is my one here which has been recorded from my helmet. So you click on that, it will come up with this message here, click on relink and OK and then you'll see that this preview has now been replaced with my uh, GoPro video. So what I'm actually doing is I'm replacing the video file from my phone with this uh, to reference the GoPro file instead. Um, you can actually have multiple um, videos in one and it'll do a picture in picture and you have um, your original phone um, video in the top right corner as well if you want but I prefer not to have that so I just replace um, the whole video file. So then what you need to do is take note of which lap number this is as well in the top left corner so in my case it's lap number 56 then click on the video preview again and scroll down to the bottom and it will have um, these each lap for this session. So I'm editing lap number 56 which is this one here. So you click on that and then what you need to do is sync the video file to the end of the lap, basically when you're crossing the finish line, so it'll um, be synced properly. Um, so you can scroll through within the app here, frame by frame, um, but unfortunately it doesn't always um, display each frame. So what I do is I use um, video editing software on my computer 
to work out exactly which frame represents the end of the lap. Um, so in my case, it happens to be 1 minute 20 and 14. So I'll skip to that point. Eventually, there we go. Click on set and it will say, do you want to adjust all videos and sync points for the full session or just this lap only? And seeing as I'm only editing, making a video for one lap, I'll just click lap. Once that is done, you then click on export and it'll come up with this message here and um, basically I think this comes up because I my video file isn't long enough to cover the full session so it's only long enough um, for one lap so it automatically cuts down the video. Um, sometimes I've also noticed that Harry's lap timer crashes when you click OK there. Um, if it does you should just be able to go back into the app Click on um, export again and um, it should come back to this point and every, it should still work fine. Um, so you can adjust the settings here if you want. Um, I think I normally turn off the countdown feature. Um, and in this case I don't actually have the OBD2 data um, for this particular video that I'm using. So I've got that automatically set to none. Um, and then you just click on overlay and it'll start uh, editing the video on your phone. Um, so I'll do that, um, but it takes quite a while as well. So I'll, I'll end it before it actually finishes. Um, <clears throat> but you can see what it looks like here. So it'll just go through and eventually um, finish and the edited video will be in the same directory which you uh, put your GoPro file as well so you can grab it off there and put it onto your computer. Okay, so hopefully that um, everyone was able to follow that and uh, helps everyone out. So cheers.